Hi, my name is Umat Samji. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. And I recently wrote a paper called Positive Scaling of Sexually Selected Traits. Do metabolic maintenance costs play an important role? The smallest deer species we know is the pug-sized pudu, which has tiny antlers that account for about one-tenth of one percent of its body size, while the biggest deer species we know to have ever existed the extinct Irish elk had massive flaring antlers that accounted for more than 10% of its body mass. In many species, large individuals invest disproportionately more in sexually selected traits. And this is true for diverse groups of organisms. We find similar patterns in the antlers of tiny antlered flies, in the massive tusks of elephants, in the absurd horns of prehistoric rhinos, and in the feather-like ornaments in canopy-dwelling mosquitoes. And one question we can ask is why is it that large individuals often invest disproportionately more in these structures compared to small ones? While previous studies have measured the size of these traits, relatively few have measured the energy that these traits consume. But as individuals get larger, their energy use becomes more efficient. Tissues get less costly to maintain per gram for large individuals compared to small ones. The energy needed to support sexually selected traits becomes relatively cheaper for large individuals compared to small ones. Large individuals might be able to store energy and they may have more efficient behavior. For example, they may consume less energy for covering the same amount of distance relative to their body size compared to a small individual. These energetic savings may all contribute to these shared patterns of positive allometry we see in nature. This energetic perspective allows us to formulate hypotheses and testable predictions about the relative scaling of metabolically active and inactive tissue that compose sexually selected traits. In fact, many sexually selected traits, like the keratin found in the horns and ornamented feathers of bovids and birds, or the bone in antlers of elk and other cervids, or the cuticle in many insect weapons, are composed of relatively metabolically inert tissue Yet, these are some of the most iconic and largest sexually selected traits we know. But these traits also require a lot of metabolically active tissue to support their use and behavior associated with them. And if we examine the metabolic capacity of this tissue and how this scales with body size, we might get a different perspective on very broad patterns that shape the energetic scaling of positive allometry in sexually selected traits in diverse taxa.